So you ready to go? It's a beautiful day today and Josiah and I decided to come out and, and play a little bit. Um, but that's not what this vlog is about. I wanted to take a second and actually tell you a story and while I'm telling you this story I want you to do a couple of things. So two things. I want you to number one, I want you to think about what I may have learned from this um, experience and then number two, what scripture I might be hinting to. So um, I am an academic advisor, um, I work for a university. And um, I typically help students, you know, choose their majors, choose courses, choose, help them choose their careers. I'm just going to help them with the whole process of being successful um, in college. Yes. Yes, you can. Go for it. Um, and so, um, in this particular case, this is a student that I have worked with before, um, not only, um, had I helped him kind of help him choose his major and choose his career path, but I um, also helped him with um, just kind of uh, with his VA benefits and kind of getting set up um, for school. Well, this um, the same individual, um, he came into my office one day and was just talking about how he just felt like God abandoned him. Um, he was saying, you know, yes, I got all my benefits, all my school is paid for, I actually got housing, I got a car. Um, but I just feel like God has abandoned me because, yeah, I have a car, but I can barely keep gas in it. Um, and, and I have a house, but, you know, I, we don't have any furniture, and, man, I'm hungry. I haven't really eaten all days. I can't really afford food once all my stuff is gone, and so once all my benefits are gone. And I was like, ah. Okay, so I started talking to him, ministering to him, and I started actually, um, I started reading scriptures to him, you know, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not into your own understanding and you know our Lord will not forsake you uh, will, uh, Jesus will never neither leave you nor forsake you you know started quoting scripture and then really ministered to him but I can kind of tell he was you know um, kind of paying attention but not really paying attention but I decided to keep going I'm gonna keep on um, I'm talking to him. Keep on ministering to him. You know, if he doesn't hear it now, he's going to maybe hear it later on when he gets home. Um, and while I was doing that, <laughs> um, God spoke to me. You know, in the inner voice. You know, God. You know, in a small, uh, quiet, and a still voice said, "Man, go go get that man some food and put some gas in his car." I immediately got up and I did it. Uh, took him to the gas station. Um, got him some gas. Took him to the grocery store. Um, got us some groceries, and I think we stopped and got him a sandwich as well. And we went back to my office, and we were talking. And he was just like, "Man, you're, you're, you know, you're my big brother, and thank you so much." And I still was ministering to him and telling him how God, you know, um, loved him and was blessing him, and just to keep in mind the things that he does have. Um, and sometimes, you know, um, you know, not harp so much on the things that he does not have. Um, but God taught me something in that experience and you know I know you can figure it out so do me a favor and, and comment below what he taught me through that experience while I was talking to him God said get up and go get that man some food and get him some gas um, and, and what scripture do you think that I am referencing like I said before um, this is this vlog I want to engage I want us to talk uh, in in this vlog, I don't want to just be. I don't want it to be just a, a monologue. I want it to be a dialogue. So yeah, talk about those two things. Um, what did I learn in that experience, and what scripture did God ask me to act out? God bless you. I'm going to go back and uh, keep playing with Josiah. He's running around here somewhere, so I'm gonna catch up with him. Oh, here he comes. As a matter of fact, he's right over my shoulder. I like right on cue. Josiah, come here. Yes, little boy. He uh, <laughs> he likes he likes drills or he likes to practice or something. He just likes to run around. He's a boy, I guess, or actually he's a kid. I don't even say he's a boy. He's a kid. Has a whole bunch of energy. Um, so we come out here and play. But yes, I digress. Um, 
just comment talk about those two things what did I learn from that experience and then also um, what scripture did God ask me to act out be blessed